Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome back to my another foundation review. I'm gonna be doing word test on foundation from ZC. So it is Silky Lasting Foundation. Here I have the shade LN02. So I have reviewed this together with other products from ZC, but at the time it was just like, you know, try on, first impression, but I do not know how long it lasts, how the quality of this exactly. So we will see together in this video. I'm gonna be using this on my face and wear it for long hours. I have skincare on the face, so I can just get right into this makeup review. Before I head on with this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up for this video as well. I have the primer from ZC. It is Multi Effect Makeup Primer. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this together with this foundation on top of it. I kind of love this primer. It has such a great finish. It's not like very very tacky on the skin. It's comfortable to be honest. And it really sits on the skin when I have the foundation on. It doesn't dry out so fast. Yes, I have my red lipstick on. Actually, I went out just now sending my kids to school. I decided not to have any makeup on just now. The thing is, I feel like I want to test out this foundation right now. So that's why. A little bit white casty, but it will melt and set on the face. I love the smell of this. It's like very calming. It has kind of like pearly powder finish. I want to conceal some parts on the skin that is not really in a good condition. This is concealer from Maybelline Fit Me, the one that I trust. Actually, the shade of ZC foundation is not really suitable with my skin tone. It's a little bit off, like a little bit bright on me. This is the shade of the foundation. So can you see that it's like so white casty i mean in fair skin tone it will look nice but me i'm not i am in light medium skin tone i have tried this previously and from what i've experienced i think dem sponge is the best applicator yes i'm gonna apply with this It's silky and glowy at the same time, especially if you use this damp sponge. Can you tell the difference? So now you can see that the shade is like not match with me. But let's just proceed because we want to see how good it is actually. It will oxidize but it doesn't change much. It's so seamless right now. I kind of afraid when it comes to full coverage foundation. You know it will turns out to be cracky or something. So I hope it did good. Here's how it looks like for a few minutes of application. It is now 10.52 in the morning. Yes, as usual, I will do my full makeup and I'll be right back with you guys. I will use the loose powder that is in medium shade, the kind that has a shade, not the one that is in translucent, just to match with the whole finish. You know, it's so bright on me, I kind of dislike this kind of color on me. This is loose powder from Warda Cosmetics, it's in the shade 23W. So I guess this loose powder complement my skin tone. That's the best that I can do. Okay, I'll check back with you guys in a few hours. Hi guys, so now it is 1.41 in the evening, in the afternoon. Okay, in the afternoon, so it's been almost 3 hours. I'm having this foundation on the face. 
I didn't do any single touch up and I didn't look into the mirror closely so here's how can I tell you guys how it looks like it seems to look flawless to me there are some parts that kind of patchy crack and I can see around my eyes here where the wrinkles peeking through a lot quite a lot this is where I move around too much okay I'm eating I'm talking laughing But surprisingly on my smile lines here, it doesn't peeking through a lot Like it's nothing It seems to look crack on my nose as well mm, Yep, not really happy about this It crack easily Oh sayangnya If we look into the bright side of this foundation It's actually quite good in controlling oil on the face And I think most importantly the primer plays good role in this demo Yeah, surely I don't have any problem with the primer itself Because I have tried with the other foundations on top of it and it stays very well But with this foundation on, it doesn't seem to look good on me at all um, I don't know about you guys, have you tried out this foundation or not? But I am not happy with this it enhances the parts on here on my eyes in the corner right here and also around here like really really appear a little bit too much but i actually love the glow that peeking through on the face i mean it's like very very subtle dewy finish glowy finish but sadly it enhances the areas of my face which is you know, can't be avoided with this foundation like it or not i don't like it and i don't think i need to go further for this wear test i mean three hours is enough especially when i'm seeing the result like this i feel kind of a little bit waxy on my face I kind of feel uncomfortable with this foundation but yeah this is just my verdict, my review about this foundation when I have been through 3 hours with this on. So if you have experienced this foundation, please tell me. As far as I have experienced this, I do not like it. So if you have any suggestions on any foundations that I should try on, please just let me know in the comment section below. If you love this review, please leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I can't wait to come up with more and more interesting makeup content for you guys. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye.